Get a stick, get a stick, get a stick. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another adventure with Last Cast Adventures. Today we're trying out Lake Jackson once again. Uh, last time I went about one for four on bass or some other fish hitting top water. What I was using was these little worms which I believe are seven inches long. Six and a half, seven inches long. Normal, it's pretty much what I've grown up using. But after talking to a few people, found out you kind of need bigger worms. So I upgraded, and I believe these are eight or nine inch worms. Also the same color, I like the red shad, it tends to work out quite well for me. But I also decided to go for these bad boys. Now these are a foot long, and I have one of them on right now, and then I have a spinner bait on the other rod. Now the cool thing with Lake Jackson, and kind of scary thing is, is it actually has an aquifer under it. And so what happens is when there's a big drought up here, which I guess happens every once in a while, that actually the band-aid that it has on the bottom pretty much dries up and then um, just breaks. So all the water actually will drain out of the lake. And this has happened for a long time because even the Indians that used to be living up here used to call it Disappearing Lake. So it's now called Lake Jackson and thankfully it's not that time. So. Instead of getting a history lesson, we're just going to go fishing. Hope you guys enjoy. By a thread. Oh. Wish I would have had my GoPro on for that bite. So there's one. There's two, and then three is right about there, and I'm in this. <laughs> yeah. Now at this point I had been casting at a ton of different lily pads and hadn't really gotten anything for some time, so I actually started to zone out. Oh, <laughs> oh that was cool. Nothing like zoning out and catching a fish. Now if you look to where my feet are, they are holding a tripod with my phone on it. This was how I was uh, currently taking pictures while in the kayak. A little scary, but best way to get a selfie. And uh, you just turn the timer on, aim it at yourself, and hit go. 
even though it was overcast, it was still a little bright, so I kind of forgot to smile. Yeah. Now the cool thing that had happened with that fish was he had come up with the worm but somewhere along him jumping around had actually shaken it. So I was about to start paddling again when I looked and I realized that right there was the worm I just lost. So I was like sweet, I didn't lose a worm. So here I'm going to show you kind of how I rig it. Um, if the head ever gets busted I usually just bite it off and then start again which does shorten the worm but it actually keeps the longevity of the worm. So you can actually use it more often. Well, it wasn't a terrible day. I actually did better than I did last time. I went two for three. Uh, depends if you count that one that ripped off the worm or not. That would have been three then. Here's what I was using though. Pen battle with a 12 inch worm. And then pen conflict with a eight or nine inch worm. Right on top and just swinging them in and Obviously they worked. Thanks for watching this episode of Last Cast Adventures. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you could just do me a favor and go hit that subscribe button. And if you're really feeling up to it, just hit that like button. Leave any comments if you'd like to. I'm going to be posting as many videos as I can. You know, whenever I get anything cool, try to put it out there. And I just hope you guys enjoy and appreciate the support.